Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be simplifying a trigonometric expression. So we have tangent 70 degrees minus tangent 20 degrees and that is divided by tangent 50 degrees. And we're going to simplify this expression, so let's take a look. Let me write it this way without using the degree symbol, hopefully you'll forgive me for that. So we have tangent 70 minus tangent 20 divided by tangent 50. Let's go ahead and use the identity tangent alpha equals sine alpha over cosine alpha. So this is going to give me sine 70 over cosine 70 minus sine 20 over cosine 20. And that's going to be divided by sine 50 over cosine 50. Again, I'm not writing the degree symbol, but it's understood. So what can I do with this expression? Well, first of all, I can make a common denominator. Let's go ahead and make one. So to make a common denominator, I should multiply by cosine 20 here and cosine 70 here. So I get sine 70 times cosine 20 minus sine 20 times cosine 70. And that is divided by cosine 70 times cosine 20. And that is divided by this quantity. So at this point, I could just reverse you know, and just multiply, but let's go ahead and take one more step here. Now let's go ahead and flip this over. But before we do, let's take a look at this. Like, what does this look like, right? Well, it's in the form sine alpha cosine beta. Let me write it down here. That's an important identity. Sine alpha cosine beta minus sine beta cosine alpha. Well, and this should remind you something, hopefully you're dealing with trigonometry and you know this already, but it is equal to sine alpha minus beta. Okay, so that's the sum and difference identities. So that means the top of the top, the numerator of the numerator, can be written as sine of 70 minus 20. Okay, great. We'll simplify that in the next step. That is divided by cosine of 70 times cosine of 20. And of course, the denominator here will be flipped and multiplied. That gives me cosine of 50 divided by sine of 50. Okay, now I have sine, I have sine of 70 minus 20, which is equal to 50. And this immediately simplifies. You can just cross them out, which is nice. And we get, we end up with a simpler expression, but we're going to make it even better. So at this point, you might be thinking like, what am I going to do with cosine 50, cosine 20? Well, you could also think about it as, well, maybe we could write 70 as 50 plus 20. Is that going to help? There's a much better way to do it. So here's how it goes. A lot of times when we're simplifying fractions like this one, uh, you want to think about the double angle identity for sine alpha. Let me tell you what it is first, and then I'll proceed with the solution. So sine of 2 al alpha can be written as 2 sine alpha cosine alpha. There's a lot that can be said about this, but I don't want to make it too long. Let's go ahead and proceed with the solution. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace cosine 50 with sine 40. And why am I doing this? You'll see in a little bit. And here at the bottom, I have cosine 20, but notice that 70 and 20 add up to 90 degrees. So I can just immediately replace cosine 70 with sine 20. And hopefully by this time you've seen what I'm getting at. Now sine 40 and sine 20, cosine 20. So they're like, they have the double angle relationship. So now I can use this identity for sine of 40 and that can be written as basically two sine 20, cosine 20, and that is divided by sine 20 times cosine 20. Again, these are all in degrees, even though I'm not writing it because it takes too long to write, okay? So what am I doing at this point? Well, we can just go ahead and simplify some terms here, like pretty much everything, right? Sine 20 cancels out, cosine 20 cancels out, and we end up with two. Now, something interesting about this problem that I wanted to mention before I end the video. So that is, when somebody looks at an expression like this, you might be thinking, I know this is kind of like, not, not, this is not serious, it's just a joke, but I just wanted to mention this. So go ahead and cancel out the tangent because I want to, okay, here's what I want to do. I want to take out the tangent, so it's going to give me tangent 70 minus 20, 
and the bottom is going to be tangent 50, but 70 minus 20 is equal to 50, and I can just cross out the tangents, I can cross these out, and the answer is 1. Of course, this is wrong, it's incorrect, you can't do this. But this is just a joke. So let's go back to this, and our expression basically simplifies as 2, so the answer is 2 in this case. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.